The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has rejected the judgment of the Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal, PEPT, in the petition filed by the party and its candidate, Atiku Abubakar, against a declaration of Senator Bola Tinubu as the winner of the February 25, 2023 presidential election. In a statement rejecting the judgment, the National Publicity Secretary of PDP, Debo Lugwangba, described the verdict as generous in technicalities and very short in delivering substantial justice in the matter. The opposition party added that the judgment is against reason, against the facts and evidence presented in court, against relevant electoral laws, guidelines and regulations as well as the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended. It stated that as a law-abiding political party, it will with eight lawyers, have a comprehensive review of the judgment and decide on the next line of action within the ambits of the law. Meanwhile, the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar's lead counsel, Chris Uche, has said the legal team has been ordered to appeal against the unanimous judgment uploading, up, upholding the victory of President Bola Tinubu. Uche, who has expressed disappointment over the ruling, said his client and the legal team had expected the court would have given a verdict that would improve and encourage the use of technology in elections. We had the instructions of our clients as soon as possible to go to the Supreme Court. We have asked for the records. So we have, today as you saw in court, we have asked for the records, we have asked for the judgment, we are going to apply for transmission of records because we have a very limited time to push this. So the struggle continues, yeah. and as it is said, it is not over until, until it, is it is over. over. And the judgment has been delivered, but we have not received justice. Luckily, the Constitution has given us the right to go on appeal. This is a court of first instance to go on appeal to the Supreme Court. And you see, this is a struggle that is not just for our clients, but for the constitution of this country, for the rule of law. And for democracy. For democracy. We were expecting an outcome that will improve, encourage the use of technology to enhance election management, to enhance transparency, to enhance accountability, so that Nigerians will believe in democracy. Nigerians will come out in their masses like they did to vote. We don't want Nigerians to be discouraged in the process. There are certain things, certain principles of law that we know that we need to explore and we strongly believe that when we get to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court will have the opportunity to review a number of things that have been uh, said here today. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.